Anderson Cooper of CNN did a show called Scientology, A History of Violence. And he, he questioned David Miscavige's personal lawyer, Monique Yingling of Washington, D.C., who has firewalled the atrocities and protected the church for the last 25 years. He's a big Washington, D.C. insider. So Anderson Cooper asked Monique Yingling, all right, everybody is confirming beatings, body slammings, assault and battery, and this was never reported. These are felonies. These were never reported to law enforcement. Why? So why didn't the church then decide to proceed with charges? I mean, aggravated assault is, 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 a, is a felony. It's against he, the law. The church treated it as an internal matter, and he was disciplined internally. And Monique Yingling said, we handled it internally. This video is about internal Scientology justice. One of the one of the highest levels of punishment is called a committee of evidence. And a committee of evidence is always four people randomly assigned, but they are supposed to be your peers. Therefore, if you're a commanding officer of a unit, they steal all these Navy titles. Lieutenant commander, commanding officer, all these bogus titles. But if you are the head honcho, commanding officer, then if you get a committee of evidence, your peers would be other commanding officers should be sitting evaluating your ethics. The committee of evidence evidences that I held are absolutely bogus kangaroo courts. Show trials, show trials like the Kremlin, like Joseph Stalin, absolute hogwash, uh, perfunctory nonsense done to please the convening authority who has already preordained your punishment. So really, committee of evidence, these little team of four are just going through the motions. There's another, another more powerful weapon that the church uses. It's written in policy as a psychological weapon to squash you, to psychologically compress you. And that's called non intrubulation order. The non intrubulation is a Scientology word. Turbulence. You, you understand that when the ocean has currents and waves, it's turbulent. And intrubulation means you're agitating everyone. You're creating waves. You're creating flaps. That's called in the church intrubulation. Non-interrelation order is an order that comes out in writing on you, distributed to everyone, slammed in the ethics office, and it says, looky, one more complaint on you and you're declared suppressive person. This just shuts the person down. They're scared to look left, look right if they, and do you know something? Husbands get their wives put on a non interrelation order. Wives do it to their husbands. The, the, <laughs> the non interrelation order is a psychological warfare weapon designed to completely compress you down, down, down. And be fearful, you're treading on eggshells. Every step you take is a minefield because you're one step away of being declared a suppressive person. But what does that mean, declared suppressive person? It means you can lose your business over it. If you're hiring Scientologists, they'll walk out the door because they can't be contaminated by you. You're a sociopath. You're a suppressive person. 
Your family will disconnect from you. Your children who are on staff will never talk to you. Your, 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 uh, I'm sure many of you know the tr tragic story of Lori Hodgson, whose children have been manipulated against So uh, in April, they moved to Texas. Jim moved my children many states far from me so that I couldn't see them and give them presents or try to talk to them and be their mom. So now my children have been California children all their life or in Texas. Uh, I didn't see them for a whole year. In the meantime, they were ordered to block all family associated with me and all friends. So now even the non-Scientology family members are not able to talk to the kids. We have no phone numbers, no address, and no contact on Facebook. So they've lost all their family except for my ex's side of the family. And we're a close family. My dad just turned 75, they missed the birthday. My mother just turned 75, they missed that birthday. And this is like the time that family, you know, we're robbed from our kids. David Miscavige has taken our children because of disconnection. What about Cindy Plahuda, who's Daughters in Orange County, she's declared suppressive person. These are heavy, heavy punishments. And as you know, as I've talked about, this is a church that wants to crack a whip, that wants to punish and shrivel you up so you toe the line. One question on a non intermulation order how long does it last? It's almost in force eternally, but it sort of subsides and like as soon as things calm down, people compress on a non interpolation order. And then it kind of fizzles out and life goes on. But for the next few weeks, next two, three months, the person is really in, in terror. They're one step away from being declared suppressive person. Now, who issues a non interpolation order? The ethics officer, or IJC, or any person working in HCO, Harvard Communications Office. Could a committee of evidence issue a non interpolation oh, order? Oh, absolutely. Or Office of Special Affairs. So. You're so, reporting things Office of Special Affairs doesn't want the general public to know. So they would trickle down the order to the ethics officer or what they call in the Sea Org, MAA, or just a ripped off Navy term. What happens if somebody violates the non interpolation order? Are they immediately declared a suppressive person? It's pretty immediate. It's pretty immediate. There are some people that stand up to all of this, and Tom they knows it. <laughs> they are declared a person, person. And some lucky families, the whole family exits together. They don't leave behind anyone. Everyone walks out the door. Would it be possible in the Church of Scientology to buy your way out of a suppressive person declare? Oh, you can buy yourself practically out of anything in this day and age if your donation is big enough to the church. But I want to end this video on one point. There is a lot of propaganda that can be acted out on the definition of words. In the Arab Muslim world, they can slaughter a young girl. The father can do homicide and they call it honor killing, honor. <laughs> this is homicide. But they use the word in a propaganda sense. This was honor killing. And it reminds me of the Church of Scientology because while they batter and put fear and install heavy duty, heavy hostile treatment, they're calling it ethics. It's an honor killing to smash you to pulp.